every star that thinks in the night sky, every drop of morning dew, every spark of fire blazing in the furnace, every captivating view, every rainbow in the sky, every pretty butterfly, just a fascinating news to those who dare to. The message is God to loves the world. God still, still loves the world. Oh, throw your life into his hands. Day by day, the sun is planned. God's passion. Loving you and me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Dear friends, we have a few intentions to pray for. Let's offer all these intentions and pray during this Holy Eucharist that the Lord might grant the needs of all these people. In a very special way, let us pray for all the people who have been affected by this coronavirus, especially old parents, grandparents, poor people, migrants, and people who go for daily wages who are not able to go now. Let's also pray for the environment safety. Let's also remember to pray for people who are stuck up in various countries who are not able to come back to their homeland. And Mrs. Divya Clement wants us to pray for her cousin and also for her husband, especially for their job security. Let's pray for Joyce and Gracious Pius. Let's also pray for Paulina, who is a senior person in Italy, and the intention is offered by Mara. And let's pray for Moses, who celebrated his birthday yesterday, that the Lord may continue to give him a wonderful year ahead. Dear friends, thank you for your cooperation, for your support for the lovely words and for also joining me in praying for various intentions and offering this Holy Eucharist. And as a humble request, kindly try to subscribe to this channel because you get the notification directly. Otherwise, we'll have to keep sharing the links to each and every one of you. It takes a lot more time. And if uh, you do not know how to subscribe, because it is also a problem for many of them. They, are, they tell me I don't know how to subscribe. If you've got some little ones in the families, children, or anyone for that matter, they will all know how to do it and ask them and they will do it for you. And during this Holy Eucharist, let us pray in a very special way that we may have very strong faith and we might fight the fear that is within and that is without. For the times we have not been faithful in our commitment, Let's feel sorry and ask the Lord's pardon and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God, brothers, sisters, I have said, all my faults I now declare. Lord, 
May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we, who have been renewed by Paschal remedies, transcending the likeness of our earthly parentage, may be transformed in the image of our Heavenly Maker. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 4, verses from 23 to 31. When the Peter and John were released, they went to their friends and reported what the chief priests and the elders had said to them. And when they heard it, they lifted their voices together to God and said, Sovereign Lord, who did make the heaven and the earth and the sea and everything in them, who by the mouth of our father David, thy servant, did say by the Holy Spirit, Why did the Gentiles raise and the peoples imagine vain things? The kings of the earth set themselves an array, and the rulers were gathered together against the Lord and against his anointed. For truly in this city there were gathered together against thy holy servant Jesus, whom thou did anoint, both Herod and Pontius Pilate, with the Gentiles and the peoples of Israel, to do whatever thy hand and thy plan had predestined to take place. And now, Lord, look upon their threats and grant to thy servants to speak thy word with all boldness, while thou stretchest out thy hand to heal, and signs and wonders are performed through the name of thy holy servant Jesus. And when they had prayed, the place in which they were gathered together was shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke the word of God with boldness. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. Let your response be, Alleluia. Why this tumult among nations, among peoples, this useless murmuring? They arise, the king of the earth, princes plot against the Lord and his anointed. Come, let us break their fetters. Come, let us cast off their yoke. Your response? He who sits in the heavens loves. The Lord is laughing them to scorn. Then he will speak in his anger. His rage will strike them with terror. It is I who have set them, my king, on Zion, my holy mountain. Your response. Gospel acclamation. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It is written that the Christ should suffer and on the third day rise from the dead. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Chapter 3, verses 1 to 8. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from God. For no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. Jesus answered him, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born anew, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, 
he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Do not marvel that I said to you, you must be born anew. The wind blows where it wills, and you hear the sound of it, but you do not know whence it comes or whither it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear friends, it has been the experience for all of us when we were little children, we normally are scared to go out in the darkness. We always like to hold our mother's hands or someone whom we trust and then we go out in the darkness. Even now for that matter, when some of us have to go out in the darkness, we always want one another person with us. We say, come, come with me, I'm scared. Fear is the first element which prevents us from having deep faith. In the gospel today we see Nicodemus, who is supposed to be a very important person, an authority, he comes at night to meet Jesus Christ. It has got a meaning that he comes in the darkness, he is in darkness, he is not in light. He comes in darkness, it also means he is scared, he didn't want anyone to know that he was going to come and meet Jesus. Because you know, during the cleansing of the temple event, there was a huge clash between Jesus and the Pharisees, his, his, his own team members. Now that if, if they come to know that he went to meet Jesus, that he is friendly with Jesus, he is going to be in trouble. A person who is such a big, an authoritative figure, he himself is scared to meet Jesus because he doesn't want to lose his power. He does not want to lose his chair. So he's scared. The moment the element of fear comes in, however great we are, however big we are, Nicodemus, a person who, who, who knows things, who knows laws, we, we step away from God. That's why in the conversation, Jesus and Nicodemus, they speak a lot. Jesus tries to make him understand things. He says, unless a person is born again, and, and he, Nicodemus talks as if he does not understand this. He, he puts it very literally. How do we go back again to our mother's womb? It is, it is actually absurd to hear words of this sort from a person like Nicodemus. He knows it is a figurative language. He knows what Jesus was meaning. He says, unless you are filled with the Spirit, Unless you are closer to God, unless you are born again in your spirit, in your baptism, you will not, you will not believe, you will not understand love of Christ. So the element of fear prevents us from knowing Christ. And that is what we see in the first reading, a completely uh, 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 different picture. Peter and John, they are not scared. They fired the authorities and they come back and narrate everything to the community members. And the community members are so happy. And they pray that nothing wrong could happen to these people. And they pray together and there is outpouring of the spirit. And then all of them become very strong and they pray for courage. Because you know what happens? The moment we start having fear, that fear itself will harm us. We are, we are, we are scared of so many things. Fear could be internal or external. And in this conversation with Nicodemus, Jesus arrives at a point saying, you have to shed your fear and come closer to me. And the sign that I am losing my fear is very simple, that I take a bold step of opening my mouth in front of everyone and stand for the truth, even if it costs me my power, my position, of course my chair, and even if it costs my life itself. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Dear brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause of such great gladness, Grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit and perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you it more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in her mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
True him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the service command and form a divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will. We will and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb, Lamb of God, God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Dear friends, we are very happy because uh, we prayed for Andrea D'Souza yesterday, who was in ICU. I hope you remember. Keep continuing to pray for her. She is out of ICU. Though her pulse is still low, let us together as one family pray for her because she has got two young daughters and even husband is fighting his own cancer. Let us continue to pray for this person that she might get cured as early as possible. At this juncture, I would again like to thank two of my team members, Jana and Naveen. They are here every day, every night doing this work without expecting anything in return. Let's pray for these two young guys that their ministry might bring in a lot of graces from the above. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew my eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God bless you the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. The Mass is ended. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia.